Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We are Gargoyle of Ashenzari, and we're sort of doing a lot of everything, which is not entirely good, but at the same time is also sort of what we're thinking about, you know, some amount of generalist stuff, and especially with Ash going on over here. Now, I was thinking, should I curse the other Ring of Protection for magic? And I think the answer might be yes. I really, being bound would be very handy. Uh, what might be slightly handier is a, protect, a ring of protection from cold, just to balance out this negative value here. Um, RC plus. I got the ring of ice, which isn't exactly what I mean or want. Nor am I thinking of wearing that long sword. I just don't know, like, how many scrolls of remove curse are we going to find? Because we use those both for cursing and uncursing. We've only got three right now. I would love to do it though, because it would give us a boost to all of our spell casting like skills, our magic skills, also evocation, which would be nice. And who doesn't love our uh, MR? I think I'll hold out. So I think what we were talking about uh, at the end of the last video, which I recorded several days ago, is, and, and, and again, I'm recording these before these have gone up and live. I think I've talked about going back to the dungeon for now, clearing a little bit more, potentially all of it, it's, it's feasible, and then going into Orc. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go to Dungeon. Uh, yeah, Dungeon 10 is fine, because I think the default in this case is, yeah, the entrance to whatever branch I'm in, and I'm sort of manually gonna go down. Now I do have some stones, which is good. I can start sandblasting again, uh, like this Minotaur. See, I didn't even look down the stairs. Still, the Minotaur, well, you've got a bunch of AC, right? Yeah, so sandblast will not be very good against this guy. Uh, in, instead, we'll probably we'll probably do some stone arrows. I don't like the 9% failure risk, but I'm also not too keen on the fact that my weapon is only a plus 4 flail, which isn't ideal. Ah, yeah, see, petrify is not too likely or anything like that. Um, it's it's kind of annoying to me. If you check the wiki for stone arrow, it says, Oh, but it can be reduced by armor. It, stone arrow gets reduced by armor in exactly the same way that all spells do. It's, it's sandblast that's exception that it... You know, armor's more effective against it. And there's a few rare spells that ignore some or all of armor. But generally speaking, like, if you're hitting with a fire spell, armor works against that. So, interestingly enough, I could th consider using pass wall for an uh, escape passing through here. Although it takes several turns to prep. That's right. It's not a very good escape. So let's stone arrow him. Well, that's not bad. I mean, my AC at 34 is actually okay. The biggest problem we've got, probably, is the fact that Stone Arrow takes so much mana. Uh, oh yeah, and he's just going to go and Javelin me. So, if I can't spell him, I'm going to have to go and melee him. Which is kind of tough and scary, but yeah, I have to... There's my third mana point. Woo! Yeah, that's the biggest limiter with Stone Arrow, as opposed to Sandblast. Is that another Minotaur? So there was more than one on here? And this guy's actually got a weapon. The other guy, I don't think, had any weapon in his hand. Morningstar or Venom. Well, the Venom part doesn't bother us at all. But you can see how much damage these guys can do. I guess I'll pop up here and then just go down to another stair of some kind. Do I just leave the floor for now? I think I might. I know there's more left to do. But yeah, I think so. Let me just fling some of you. I don't think I'm even going to bother spelling. Oh, go. I thought I'd have to at least melee you, but apparently not. Uh, Unseen Horror, but thank you very much, Ash, for allowing me to see in Viz. Reveals the Unseen. So handy, because Unseen Horrors are the worst! I hate them so much! They're the... When you're starting out in Dungeon Crawl, they are the bane of many a new characters. And they're just really annoying to kill. Oh, oh, that's what the pop-up was, was the, the merging of slime creatures. Oh, I guess I can sandblast again. How's your AC? Not much, although you're a little dangerous here, and you're merging up into a full titanic one. Okay, you good. You split up again. They seem... I don't know what their rules are. They seem to... Um, and yeah, we do have like a lot of skills enabled, but a lot of them have skill targets that they're about to reach, so things are going to stop really fast. Um... They seem more likely to merge in hallways, but they'll even merge in open rooms. Actually, I should just finish this guy. I should really be saving my stones. Uh, boop. Actually, this is a half-decent case for 
the rapid deconstruction in the wall, but it is loud. I don't think I'm going to bother. I'm just going to use some stone arrows here. Since it doesn't use any actual little pebbles. Well, this might be a good time to switch back. These guys are still fairly, fairly tough. I mean, I don't have a ton of AC, but they, I think the thing with the slimes is I'm always underestimating how many hit points they've got. Like a single slime looks like it should die fairly quickly. But yeah, it's actually relatively tough, even without its AC. So I used a fair number of stones there. I mean, at some point, the stones will really stop being useful because we're going to run into too many things with high AC. I think here I'm going to step forward. And... No, I actually want to sandblast him. Maybe? Is one point of AC really making that much of a difference? There we go. There we go. Now, sandblast damage is highly variable. I'm just going to melee you. Because it's like 2d, at max power, it's like 2d20, which means it can do 2 points of damage, or it can do 40 points of damage. Now, that's pretty variable. And there's the stone arrows. Like, the stone arrows do okay, except for how much mana they cost. So I'm fairly comfortable taking on this troll, I think. There we go. We've definitely reached that. Actually, I guess what it comes down to is I'm fairly comfortable taking any one solo thing, especially because of Stone Arrow. I'll run out of juice really fast. But we're not we're not doing group fights now. This is probably a group of yaks, for example. I'm gonna go ahead and eat mid combat and sort of let the yak come at me. And I guess our, our deconstruction, yeah, 20% is pretty bad. Never mind, I won't use that. So sand blasts. And one of the things that makes Sandblast so powerful is that it's so damn cheap. So I'm not rock arrowing or stone arrowing here because I'm explicitly trying to save some mana. These should all go down fine to Sandblast. Yep. Okay. Then we get to chop up some bodies for food. Secret Trove of Treasure. So if I try to go down, it'll tell us what you want. Oh! This portal proclaims the superiority of the material over the divine. Those who enter it will find they have lost all favor with their chosen deity. Is this just... Okay, is this just sacrifice all faith? Or is this going to be um, like those divine punishment states? Penance and whatnot. If this is just sacrifice all piety, I'm kind of okay with it. Because we actually should be able to get it back pretty fast, especially if I double bind myself. I don't know. And I could wiki this. Part of me kind of just wants to YOLO it. Uh, yeah, no, we'll have to look it up. DCC, yes, trove, um, lost all favor with deity. Uh, it takes your piety. Just sets to zero doesn't put you under penance. Or puts you a bit over zero, otherwise you'd be excommunicated. Okay. Yeah, this... Uh, you know what? I think it's worth doing this. I've sort of been complaining, as I do in, in many of our runs, that the itemization has been a little bit on the weak side. So we're going to do that. Now, I have plenty of inventory space, but just to make sure, I'm going to go ahead and drop a couple of things. Just to make some extra room. Berserker Rage, you're probably not going to want. Okay. I mean, that's tons of room. You don't end up grabbing that much stuff. And yeah, so this is going to be okay. Let's let's go in. Yep. So there we go. We're at zero piety. Um, so we're going to want that back. And yeah, we'll want to curse our rings. But hopefully what we're going to do here is find some sweet new rings. Uh, ring of fire. Teleport we don't want. Positive energy. Cursed ring. Cursed artifact ring. The curse part doesn't bother us. The strength actually would help a little with our spell casting. The AC2 is also kind of nice, but we've already got access to a Ring of Fire somewhere, and we're not interested in wearing a Ring of Fire. Protection from cold. The Amulet of Air. Ooh, inaccuracy is really super bad. I don't know if it affects spell casting, but probably does. Artifact Ring of RC-. We're already at RC-. But wow, these are crap. I don't know if this vault was worthwhile. Uh, this artifact... This amulet has a chance to cause us to rage, which is... Bad. If I'm going to wear positive energy, a cursed ring is going to be fine. The ring of Quahak. 
blink, fly, slay. So the ability to evocate for blink is kind of interesting, but that's about it. Because, I mean, we can already fly. Okay, swapping RF for RC is fine, actually. Gives us regen and in plus five. I think we'll wear that amulet. I don't think we need to grab any of the others. This dex plus three we're not going to wear. And the ring of teleport is always bad. Because it randomly teleports you to enemies. Ring of fires you were to get access to. I don't need the ring of flight. Was this worth it for the piety? I don't know. But... So we're gonna we're gonna drop some things here that I don't particularly care about. So okay, well, hold on. First, we're gonna put on. I think we're putting on this. Am I wearing an amulet right now? No, no amulet. It's interesting the inaccuracy, but yeah, we're not doing that. Like I'm not wrong, right? Um, I O. Oh. Reduce the accuracy of all your attacks. I don't think we're wearing that. But I think we are wearing this. Now, yeah, again, the fly doesn't do anything for us because we have permaflight. RF, we're swapping a point of RF for RC, which we're kind of okay with right now. The region is nice. I mean, we're not, I don't, I think the point is, what other amulet might we wear? We're not going to wear this one to randomly rage us, even though the positive energy is kind of nice. Yeah, all right, we'll put that on. Yep. So we're slightly bound. We're going to want to go and make sure we're wearing a cursed ring to, like, a, on our other hand, to be able to become fully bound here. It's going to be good for piety, and it's also giving us a boost to magic skills and whatnot. So the question becomes, what am I going to wear instead of the second ring of magical protection? No. I mean, probably just... Well, I guess our protection from cold. Yeah, because what we did is we negated the negative, but wearing a protection from cold to get the plus over there would be good. Now, the thing is, normally you might like to swap contextually as to what you're facing. We're not going to be in that situation. We don't have any R neg, do we? Oh, we do have one point of R neg. We have that naturally, don't we? Yeah. Okay, I think that's going to be fine. This will kind of give us one pip of everything. So we're going to put on this one, which is already cursed. Yes, we'll put that on. It doesn't ask us which hand because we have a cursed ring in the other one, so that's going to be okay. So jewelry-wise, I can pretty much drop everything I'm not wearing because clearly I can't swap on the fly. Now, I'll still know where these things are, and I can grab them later on, but that's going to be okay. I mean, the Ring of Wizardry is kind of cool to be able to get a, a pretty massive boost of spellcasting, but I like this. We've got, we don't have corrosion. But we have one pip of every resistance now. Of course, immunity to magic altogether. Being fully bound over here is going to be very nice. We don't currently have the thing where she, and I keep referring to Ash as female, even though sort of a genderless god, I think, uh, where we get bonuses to our skill points over here because we did get reset in our piety. But we'll get that back fairly quick. Especially with wearing some bound jewelry over here. That's okay. Is there anything else I want to do? Well, I think what we should do is probably enchant the Fire Dragon Scales, because I think that's really what we're looking to wear for an extended period of time. Oh, except I don't have enchant armor scrolls. That's right. We didn't have very many. I think I might have used one on my helmet of C and Viz, which doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, I would like to bind myself some more, but this is kind of... Oh, yeah. Six scrolls remove curse. You know what? We're going to do it. So Curse Item, Fire Dragon Scales, Moderately Bound, that's good. So again, more Piety, and will give us Armor Skill once we get back to that level. So we're going to call that good enough for this time. Hello, Necrophage. And you can be vaguely annoying, can't you? Cause Rotting, yeah. I'm not going to use a Stone for you. I will go ahead and Stone Arrow you, because we are alone. I'm not too concerned about the mana cost over here for now. More stones over here. You're probably not alone. And you'll probably merge up in this little crack. Yeah, you triple merged up. Luckily, you're not super fast, although you got a little burst of energy there. Hallways aren't great. There we go. You will you will sort of split up, but you'll probably remerge a fair amount in the hallways. Throw, stone arrow, stone arrow. Okay, finish you off. Throw some more. Stone arrow some. 
Sandblast, and then just beat you up with a flail. Okay. We don't want a robe. Get a pizza over there. Beat you up. Beat, beat you up. Excellent. Magic mapping. Uh, buckler. Just regular uncursed buckler, so not really interested. Uh, is my shield cursed? It's not, but it's only plus zero. Yeah, we're not going to go all the way up to a large shield. At least not now. We need a lot of skill points to make it not crap. There's one scroll of enchant armor. Thing is, I don't think it's worth using it for just a single scroll. Because by the time we can get something enchanted up enough to be really cool, we may have found something else. Although, again, I might be kind of locked in on this armor. Unless we find an artifact one. So, you've got the poison resistance stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Throw. Uh, what's your actual AC? Yeah, it's fine. So, we can just... I'm just going to sandblast you. I'm not going to save resources for you. And we did pick up another stack of stones. Or I thought. Maybe not. So, you're down to 35 here. You can go through the stones quite quickly. Two shouts. Gurgling sound. You wait here. Throw. Stone arrow. using some stones on you and I'm okay with it I'm just uh, regenning some mana by running two areas I already know okay uh, what do you look like hey, you got a fair amount of it you know what you're alone we can probably just beat you to death there we go and we'll go ahead and eat a ration and then rest and then go back to exploring Jellies and whites. Yeah, you have like no hit points, which is kind of surprising. Uh, now the white or the jelly, I don't like as much, so I'm gonna go ahead and explicitly sandblast you, because I don't want to get corroded. But I think we can just tab through killing these guys. I could have moved to a slightly different position where I would only fight one thing instead of two things at a time, which certainly would have been better, but isn't too much of a big deal. Throw stone arrow, done. So we hadn't actually explored all the upstairs because we'd left some stuff behind on this floor. There was a minotaur still kicking around. And we'll go back to clearing it soon. Two-headed ogre. Where did I see you? Comes into view and then hides. Probably there we go. Probably there. Now I think you're fine. Stone arrow. I'm gonna sandblast you a bunch. But again, your AC is not like insanely good. So there you go. Target reached. Oh, we did pick up some more stones over to 57 again. That's good. Done exploring. All right. So that was dungeon 12. Eh. Whoa, incompatible moments file. Right. So, I mean, I'm playing on Trunk over here, and they, they, they're changing a lot of things with the ghosts and how they behave. I can't remember if I'm on the run here where the ghosts still roam around or if they're limited to rooms. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the Cyclops upstairs so I don't have to worry about ads. That's step number one. Step number two. Now, I don't have blinking stuff. I do, again, pass walls, not an escape. I got to remember that. I do have some scrolls of running away, but I think we can probably just take them. Again, not a ton of AC. I think I'll go ahead and sandblast them. Oh, yeah, that was fine. Especially if he's not flinging rocks at us. Things feel pretty good. What I'll do is I'll we'll check another stair and do some partial mapping of things. Bring up the one Tengu over here and just melee you. We're on min delay with our attacks, which are pretty good. Uh, plus four flail is not the most impressive weapon in the game, but it's there. Let's go back down and take care of this uh, unseen horror. Thump, thump, thump. Oh, wow, we can just beat to death the Cyclops accidentally. This is a little scarier. What's the base AC on the, this guy? Okay, I think I'm going to go and stone arrow this. Or, sorry, sandblast him. Okay, it's getting a little bit more crowded. And I realize I'm, I'm opening myself up to shots here. But I'm okay with it. I'm going to hide here. Eh. I did find some stuff. And what I'm hoping to do... Now the centaurs won't move to the stairs, but I'm hoping to, like, sort of poke down, poke up, and have a, a situation where one of them has moved to the stairs. Did... How come the ogre got... came up and was injured? Did he get shot by an arrow? I don't know. Now, these guys are still sort of being annoying because they refuse to move forward. Alright, 
I can probably just beat him up. There we go. I did sandblast one of them to increase the speed, but that was it. Okay, earth magic is up to level 10. We want it for stuff like the rapid deconstruction and various things. Now, in terms of stats, I think I'm going to want to get my strength up to about 15. That should be pretty good in terms of diminishing returns for the armor, at which point just more um, more int's always going to be fine. Although, I mean, there's not that many stat increases left here. Rapid deconstruction, there's not really a, an option unless I do get a petrify off here. I'm just going to switch back to some stone arrows here for a bit. I could sandblast, but I think we can just beat these guys down. Yeah, you know, once you get once you get your weapon to swing pretty fast, you'll do all right. Now oh, this frog, just because you're annoying, I'm sandblasting you a couple of times. That's really what it came down to. Take a look over here. So Maces and Flails still isn't quite to the 14, but it's getting close. But you can see a bunch of other things turned off. So the Mephetic is at 19%. Um, because we reached we reached our target for Air and Poison. And really, we're just studying conjurations to help bring that down. I think that's probably okay. Do I still want to focus air magic? Is actually an interesting question. Or earth magic is what I meant to say. Because getting Lee's rapid deconstruction to be less dangerous is probably good. The petrify combo is alright too. But I'm actually wondering. Like, I would like to turn spellcasting back on for, for mana. Do I want to cut back on anything here? Because this is spreading things out a lot. And Mason Flails should finish soon. We're not actually at Mindelay, but we're pretty darn close. Armor's still good, because we've got a fairly decent base AC. And so the armor skill is giving us a fair amount of bonus AC for that. And, I believe, prevents some of the missing and... I don't know if armor skill affects spell casting changes. We really don't need the Ring of Sea Invis, so I'm going to drop it. In fact, I'm going to... Yeah, okay. I guess it auto-picks up the one time and then turns off. Sharpo. What is this here? Staff of Power. I don't think we're interested in that. We've got lots of ID scrolls, which I guess sort of makes sense because we don't need as many IDs with Ash. Hey, it's Quillotine's Ghost! What is this one? Oh, this is one of my previous gargoyles. Ha 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 ha! This is during my practice runs. This is amazing. Has a 24% chance to petrify, except I'm immune to petrify. Has a butt ton of AC. Which makes sense. I don't think we're taking it as is, although the Vile Floods will be kind of nice to unlock later. I think we can just beat these guys to death. Uh, I'll just stone arrow a little, just to... Yeah, because I figured something like that was going to start happening. We'll just move to here. Fire. Oh, move up a little bit more so I can stone arrow you. Excellent. I don't know where the slimes went. Yeah, you're going to do a lot of merging up. I don't know how the, the damage works when they merge and unmerge. And what the hit point totals, like, do... You up. You got a whip of some kind. Cursed Enchanted Whip. Let's read, um, identify. Select from the ground. Minus two whip. Okay, nope, not interested. Sonia the Assassin. So, you can blink and teleport self, and you've got a dagger of venom. So, I mean, you can hit for 14 damage. The poison doesn't bother us. You don't have a ton of AC. Wow, you are super not dangerous. You, oh, do you summon stuff? Yeah, we're going to sandblast you with your no AC. Uh, there's probably going to be some merges here. And they do get a lot more dangerous when they do that. Luckily, they were alone. Cure tip niddles. Uh, ooh, nice. Okay, well, let's buy a scroll of noise just so that it gets ID'd. We're going to want a bunch of enchants. Okay, they don't really have... In they do have an enchant armor. I may as well buy it now. I'm going to get the extra teleportations, because you always want more escape mechanisms and blink as well. Fog can work in his escape. Let me check to see how many I've got. 
I got three scrolls of fog, which I think is fine. I really don't need identify. I, I guess I'll grab enchant. Eh, I mean, yeah. I'm sure we'll use it at some point. Oh, another remove curse over here. Which, of course, we can use as a imbue with a curse. I still don't want to go through the trouble of doing some of this other gear that is, doesn't have an ego on it. You know, some sort of protection from, from foo. Sandblast a little here. There's a lot of stuff going on all of a sudden. Hmm. I'm at a good place for rapid deconstruction, although, again, my chance to hit is still pretty poor. Those ranged attacks hurt a lot. We've got plenty of ways to escape from this. And I think I'm going to have to. we got enough potions of mutation. I think I should start doing some quaffing. I think I'm going to read one of these new scrolls of teleportation. Okay. Uh, you should be fine. I'm going to move up to you so you can't just arrow me anymore. And then I'm going to sandblast you. Maybe I could have sandblasted from a distance. Okay. Just to check. These stairs are all fine, right? Yeah. I guess I could have done shift X square bracket. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. I, without any kind of missile reflection, this is actually all of a sudden looking pretty dangerous. Now, because of line of sight and stuff like this, we can actually do a fair bit. I am going to sand blast, use some resources. Not gonna, uh, you can probably just be killed as is. Rest over here. Is that everyone? I think maybe. Hello, Cyclops, who apparently I can just beat up with my flail. Okay, we want to get a little bit more strength. Because that's probably making a fair difference. One more point, because we're wearing armor that's got 11 points of um, encumbrance rating. And so, again, it's a diminishing return. You never get rid of all the armor penalty. There's not a target number. But at 14 or 15 strength, at that point, really, you're going to get a lot more bang from your buck from boosting int, or even boosting dex if you want more evasion. Although we don't have a ton of dodging yet, if I recall correctly. The Vampire Mosquito, I think, is fine. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're listed as gray. Okay, this guy's being a little bit more difficult to kill than I'd hoped. Sonya, though, I'm going to step up and sandblast you. There you go. Again, felt like it was going to be pretty okay. Blowguns, Curare, Venom. Yeah, so she can be dangerous because of those things normally, but not if we're immune. If that's a single killer bee, that's okay. I'm just going to sandblast it, though. Just, yeah. I mean, I think we're actually okay overall, because we're fairly well geared up to dealing with that stuff. Gateway to the vaults and cannot reach the ghost, which I don't think we're going to do the ghost right now. Let's go ahead and pop downstairs. Hello, troll. Eat some sandblasts. Troll leather armor. We could have built around there. Troll leather armor, I think, has an encumbrance rating of, like, four, which means... Any strength is is fine and, and meaningless. Like, uh, you know, if you hit if you hit double digit strength, like ten, then you're just laughing when it comes to the encumbrance rating, and even well before that. Cyan ugly thing, I believe, is the pro lightning one, which again doesn't really. One thing about our um, our spells is, well, yeah, they don't they don't ignore any kind of armor. They also are not resisted by any particular resistance. We'll just drag one of you up and then beat you up with the flail. Oh, hello. I guess there was an entrance to the vaults here, so this is not... Oh, I should not be sandblasting you. Yeah. I'll just melee you, even though that's not going to, you know, work super well either with all the armor you've got, but that's going to be okay. Just taking it really slow. Excellent. I'm going to move up to you so you stop shooting me. And the Actor. Yeah, you're not very armored. Although, I'll save myself some stones and just stone arrow you guys for the kill. Okay. So, I could probably go down and just kite, bring up more ugly things, but what I want to do... Oh, do we know about all the staircases? Really? Oh, yeah, because they're all clustered. You know what? I will actually go to this one. Or that one. Oh, I guess it figured I could path faster by going that way. Okay, fair enough. The important thing is I just want to drag up one ugly thing at a time. Rest, go down, bring up, smash, rest, go down... Not worried about the scorpion, again, being completely immune to poison. Take a look at here. 
Wow, the last few points of Mesa's and Flail. I mean, you know, we're not focusing it. We got a lot of other things going on, but it is definitely taking a while. Out of curiosity, am I officially, oops, at max power with Sandblast? Yes, I am. So now I'm doing 2d20 on that officially. Stone Arrow's max power as well, and it's, it's damage rating is a little, is it like 3d11 or something? I, I don't remember. It's still quite potent, that whole plus one range. I think if you're going to be a stone elementalist, you'll actually have a lot better of a time going with a vehement. Assuming that these count as conjurations, okay, stone arrow does. So you get slightly increased range with your stone arrow, which would be pretty potent all of a sudden. Petrify is no longer dangerous. Like, there's no bad miscast anymore, which is what the color coding is, as far as I know. But it's still not super dependable. And of course, our ability to penetrate MR is going to be a big question mark, too. Especially since we're not doing transmutations. Uh, is it worth picking up some transmutation? I guess the question is, how cheap is transmutation right now? We actually have the minus two. You can see the cost to raise earth magic and transmutation is not that different. 7.1 and 9.2 XP, fairly similar amounts, despite the fact that they're six levels apart. Crazy. Although, again, when we get our um, our piety with Ash, which is taking a while to get up. I mean, it's not like permanently zero, is it? I don't think so. I don't think that's what the vault did. We're moderately bound overall. More cursing would get us a lot more XP a lot faster. We'll just pull out of here into the empty room. Give that guy a chance to split up again. We'll drop some stone arrows for just slightly increased damage. And then we'll just uh, tab kill. I got a little low. Stone arrow one more time. Boom. Okay. Luckily no more adds. That would have been real bad. I didn't really handle that with maximum carefulness. An armor shop. Minus four boots. Scale mail. Scarf of cloud immunity. Plus four scale mail positive energy is interesting. Scale mail has the same encumbrance rating as, well, red dragon scale armor. So, uh, wait, is there, hold on. Is scale mail and scale armor different? I think it's just the same. Yeah. So scale male has an encumbrance rating of about 10, and fire dragon scale has an encumbrance rating of 11. So they're, they're roughly in a similar boat. The positive energy is nice. The fact that it's already plus four is nice, but I don't think we're, we're making any sort of changes over there. No. Okay. Scroll of Amnesia. Scimitar of Flaming. Yeah, that's fine. We do have our one point of our fire, which for a three run, rune run is perfectly okay. You have a fair amount of AC. I don't think I'm going to sandblast you, but I think I can just melee you a bunch. We have gotten very hungry, and none of this stuff is edible. That's just a skeleton. So let's go ahead and eat a ration. In case we got to dump a bunch of spells that give us some hunger. Centaur Warrior, we are... Okay, this is not entirely how I wanted that to work out. There we go. He's probably gonna... Oh, no, okay. Thought he was gonna get around and be able to line aside us, but no. We'll just run up into melee so you don't arrow us as much. And kill you off. And Skeleton, done. Yeah, our melee damage is doing okay, and then, you know... In addition, having a little bit of extra burst damage with some spells... And in particular, later on, we're going to be looking forward to uh, utility spells. Although, I don't know. Are we? One thing I don't remember. Papers. Iron Shot still has some potential for some pretty big damage later on. It's a little. It's pretty hard to cast right now, but we are working on our Conjuration on Earth, and I think it might be something that we'll get in the end. It's not an AoE. It's always single target, which is kind of annoying. So do we, we never found blink. We've got control blink, but that's it. Hi. Yeah. Hmm. I found the normal blink spell. It's too bad, because while it's a little unreliable, it definitely does work as an escape. Smash, smash, smash. Ice blast, okay. Smash the shadow. More Ice Blast. Oh, that's quite spiffy, actually. Remove Curse is really nice to have. 
Oh yeah, are we going to play the mutation game? Well, at some point we are going to be hitting, hit with stuff that will probably mutate us. So we might want to, you know, save some potions for that. Still, I could see us being able to do something like commit up to four potions to sort of tweak to get positive mutations. Save a couple for later on. I kind of think that might be the case. I think we're going to quaff some potions of mutation, you guys. But I'm going to leave it as a cliffhanger. We'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. See you then.